All right. Hello, everybody. What's going on? We are back with episode 173 of Shackled City. We're in there. Hi, guys. How's everybody doing? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm, I'm convincing everyone to make mistakes tonight. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> go on. Suddenly, it's a drunk stream. I mean, go on. <laughs> mistakes. <laughs> mistakes are going to be made. <laughs> I like how how many people have that, and I've had two of them that were completely drank, and I didn't have a fucking single drop of it. <laughs> Leslie loves Fireball, for the record, so if you come back up mm -hmm. and you need a Fireball mm -hmm. partner, she'll fucking go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you on it. Up. I'll, uh, I'll take shots. I, I don't know day. if I don't need to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone on Fireball. I don't, I don't think any of us voluntarily plan to ever drink Fireball again. <laughs> I was going to say... I know a lot of people that love Fireball. I recall a very drunk Will saying, I don't know if I should, you know what, maybe I should, yeah. I think, you know, I'm going to get some Fireball. Like, drunk, yeah. sweating profusely. It's like, are you sure? He's like, he was already up and walking I mean, to it. Sweating profusely, I can't really deny that part. <laughs> that was, honestly, it was because it was 96 degrees outside. And yeah. we all decided it was the best time to start drinking. <laughs> 96 degrees, we were all dehydrated. It was a really good time. Oh my goodness. It was a good time, in fact. Guys, let's go ahead and kick this off. Um, thank you guys so much for, for bringing in all the love and letting everybody know what's going on. We looks like we've got some gifted subs, courtesy of Phelan, subbing up 10 people. Right away, we've got Ravager, Kelsa, Vistos, Kenan, Salsa, Insight, Garn, Insane Dragon, Zombie Knight, and Wozu. On top of that, Official Paizo subbed, courtesy of Karami. Thank you, guys. That's uh, two luck rerolls. Leah with the peppermint schnapps. Elysian prime skins. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Hell yeah. Man. So, let's talk about what happened last time we played. Before the recap. We can make but it quick. We did that last session. So it all started on a coffee farm. There was a oh my young God. Okay, hand listen. Shut up. <laughs> I don't need your crap. <laughs> Ronald, help me out here. Because even um, even with even with a recap, the last time we played, I know that not everybody's going to remember these things. So, hit me like with the most recent events for each individual character, and then a summary of what's sort of coalescing in the town. Yeah, for uh, Jacob, he just made his way back into uh, Cauldron after coming back from Sasserine and um, Red Gorge, right? Um, to try to get aid for the town. Uh, he was met up <laughs> with the first spark, uh, and a confrontation ensued, uh, and not Gilfrey, um, Marion, uh, ended up losing his, getting knocked from his horse, um, and they ended up riding back the skeletal horse back to town. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, on, uh, courts, and he... He had been talking to Fables and his master, not together, but two separate instances. Uh, Fable having him question uh, the standing of of the uh, the group that we that he's currently with, whether or not we're actually good people to be around, and if it's good for him to to stay around people like us. Um, in regards, no. in regards to him speaking with his master. <clears throat> sorry, uh, in regards to him speaking with his master, uh, he was essentially trying to figure out more or less um, what the next step is, but his master had told him pretty much that he's already kind of outgrown the need for a, for a, you know, someone to look after him. Right. And uh, from there, it was uh, his master asking for help to try to train a new, the new generation of knights that would be taking up arms and cauldron. Yeah. Um, and that was where it comes into with, um, with Rock and Chobbs. <clears throat> uh, Chobbs is essentially going to go with um, with Marion to, to be trained as a knight. Uh, we essentially gave him a plan. We gave him a, we're going to give him gold as a, like kind of like a Kickstarter or funding to, to build a cabin um, outside of the city. So that way he has a place to train him. And then later on, probably other uh, knights, uh, 
for up and qu uh, I guess being squired when they when they're ready of age, but for now it's just jobs. Um, me and oh, I'm and Rock had a uh, I wouldn't say heated argument, but it was more of a. It was kind of heated, man. That there were there was, were some words. It was more of a. I mean, we did have an argument, I guess, on our perspective of morality and our sense of of right. And well, I'm more or less kind of agreed with with Rock saying like, yeah, like I don't know all the answers, but at the same time, there are instances where no one wants to say anything, and he kind of has to give he has to kind of give an answer even when no one else will. Right. Um, they kind of squared their differences at that point, um, trying to I guess <laughs> trying to see more eye to eye uh, from here on out. Um, since then, though, we really hadn't had much go on outside of that uh in between that we ended up sitting down and kind of talking about certain stuff that had been happening he's he's got the cost tonight i see that um we ended up talking about some of the stuff that we had kind of either kept hidden from each other or just neglected to kind of spread information about uh, mm -hmm. while we were eating a uh um, magical hero's feast. feast. Yeah, the hero's feast. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, kind of figured out more or less uh, what I guess our immediate goals are for everybody. Sure. Uh, we ended up signing. We ended up getting the guild charter signed, so that kind of is official. Yet we're still missing some stuff to kind of get, I guess, kicked off the ground. Uh, Thelsa, she ended up. Uh, essentially getting put on a mission to become the new uh, matron of the Weejosh Church. Uh, but uh, Ike Iverson uh, has other plans for her. He doesn't want her to become the new matron and essentially gave us an ultimatum to either stop her from becoming the matron or bad things would happen. So did he, did he specifically give you guys an ultimatum or did he try to work a deal with someone? I mean... I, I mean, if you want to call killing one of our friends a, a deal, then yes, I guess. But well, it was no, he either... didn't necessarily say he that we had to kill her; just that she he was going to if we tried to stop him, or we didn't help, uh, or if we didn't prevent her from ascending. So, any, I'm uh, curious what what is the the easiest and most honest answer for this? Kill Mike Iverson. Yeah, kill Mike Iverson. We'll just anyone who opposes us will press them into dust. I like yeah, that. That's how we've been handling everything so far in this game. I feel like, <laughs> why change now? Is it ever an issue? Never. No, not even a little bit. Oh my god. Not even and a little then, bit. Uh, point your finger at them and then say, you're going to die now. And then they die and then that happens. Uh, Ulheim took the group uh, to the uh, Brass Lantern, right? The Brass, brass Trumpet. trumpet. Fresh trumpet. Yes. Um, to try and talk with uh, Gil for a silverlight, but uh, we were kind of stopped. At, we were stopped at the door by Fables. Um, I think it was more of a miscommunication on our end as to what our intent was, since we had dispelled their magical door. Uh, wasn't it, it wasn't so a, the it was, door was normal. It was just a um, an the, the, alert. it was a magical it was a lock barrier yeah. of sorts. Yeah. Um. So she essentially told us that Gilfrey isn't going to see us until he's ready to see us, and she can't really get in contact with him unless he wants to be found. Uh, kind of left on that, we ended up heading back where that's where the confrontation with Olheim uh, running into, well, Olheim and Rock running into uh, Ike Iverson took place. Sure. Um, in between that time, they kind of ended up talking about the, uh, they ended up meeting up with, um, Charlie Miles back at the uh, the guild house. It's true. And Charlie that's where we found out. Make himself known. Uh, was that where we ended? Did we end on that? Yeah, that's where we found out. Well, uh, Helm was uh, possessing uh, Charlie Miles, and uh, he essentially told uh, the group to make sure Wolheim doesn't stray from from his current path, and we essentially had to stay kind of resolute as to making sure no more evil spills out into the world yeah yeah that's that's pretty uh pretty on point okay then stay a while we um listen. we commence there where would you guys like to who would like to begin who wants to start the floor's sort of open to anyone if there's anything that you wanted to explore 
if there are events that you feel like you would like to to speak about or try to uh, wrap up, then this is a good time. Uh, are we time-lapsing at all from that last encounter, or...? We're gonna go to the next day. We're gonna go to the next day. It's been a heavy set of days. I mean, you you are not even really a month out of the events of the 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 combat situation, the the battle, the battle at Cauldron. So, you guys have had a heavy, heavy few days. You suffered heaps of casualties, lots of, of um, fiscal loss through the entire city. Additionally, you were under attack and under siege by the likes of a, an entire plane of elementals, of which you lost more people. You even lost someone close, Dugabras, which you have not, you've not really finalized that. You guys haven't even sifted through the debris to see what that even is made of. So, let's, uh, let's start there with the next morning. Uh, it would be just that. Uh, that search to see if Malgrim is in the rubble, as well as is there any remnants of Dugo Bra? Okay. All right. So then we'll start there. We will start with that. Let's go ahead and size that down. All right, friend. Are you are you taking the time to yourself, or are you going to wait for your allies to wake up? What does this look like? No, I mean they're they're still pretty tired. So I mean, as they wake up, if they hear the noise of rustling and stuff outside, then they're more than welcome to join. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna interrupt their sleep. Sure. Well, you are sifting through the ashes and remnants of basically like a tin roof and you know crappily thrown up wooden boards. Yeah. As far as Jacob is concerned, you'll probably wake him up and he'll come out to watch you at work since he has no idea what he's doing you awaken to the sounds of tin and and metal that were was draped against the side of your building of this place where you have called home maybe if only recently but in the grander scheme of things it is probably the safest home you've had morning has come to a precipice your allies still lie in rest exhausted from the events of the last month when you come outside, you see that Ulheim is not not one for being dressed up for most occasions, especially given the circumstances of both of his arms being very otherworldly. But he tries to tear apart and tear down this wreckage, sifting through, attempting to find whatever might be left of Dugabras, or potentially Malgrim. You can see the damage that was inflicted upon the bathhouse, courtesy of this giant wolf. You still don't really know what its true intentions are, but you, of all people, you, of all people, Jacob, are at least aware that he's lurking and he's hunting for someone or something. How far is he? When's he coming back? You're not even certain. But for now, the, the never-tiring Ulheim Moves, rubble, tin, wood, prying things apart, looking for any sign of a body. Do you stand with your back to the wall? Do you find yourself in a sitting position? What do you do? No, oh, Jacob's going to be leaning a shoulder into the corner of the bathhouse, sipping on a thin morning tea and just kind of watching Ulheim going at it, figuring he's got a little bit of time to kill before having to show up at the guardhouse. Or at least he hopes he's got some time. Nobody's come screaming for him yet. Sure, that makes sense. Mm. Do you say anything looking... with him? Do you have any words? Yep. Uh, seeing him, you know, watching him for a few moments, uh, he'll eventually kind of just gesture with his cup. Are you looking for anything specific? Just the hobgoblin and, and Dugobras. That's it. And kind of leaning out and looking over the wreckage because really it hadn't been that large of a hoffel anyway. I'm fairly certain they got away. I don't know that. And the first flame was here. 
and crush this into the ground with Dugo Bross inside, at least as far as I know. But I'd rather be certain that he's not here than, leave, I guess, leave myself guessing. Well, if it was the first flame that went ahead and punched this place, one, I'm surprised anything is left. Two, I'm fairly certain they wouldn't have walked away. And I doubt they slept underneath the rubble. Olheim, you know so, right away that the first flame didn't do this. This was actually the giant sparking wolf who decided to do his elemental brethren a favor. While Jacob wasn't there to witness the events, he was on his way back. And you saw it firsthand. You saw how easy he just mashed it into the ground. You weren't here when it happened, but if they were in here, then there would be some evidence. I just need a sign to make sure that they're alive or, or that they're not. He takes takes like a heavy piece of like, I guess what the door would have been and kind of just chucks it off to the side. Um, I would say he's probably separating, separating it more from like wood to metal because, I mean... I mean, even though there's nothing left, they can melt down the metal later on and sure. use it for other stuff. But yeah, you can see he's he's breaking it off into two piles. Mm. Any word on when these masons or what have you are going to be coming to work on the place? Not yet. I still have to see if any of our funds came in. But 500 of that would go to Myron already. And then... Another thousand eight hundred to the orphanage to get something built up from there. Mm. That reminds me, we have to go ahead and see about finding Jenya. Make sure that the priest didn't break his word. We can check the pavilion in a bit. Probably possibly go back to the. The Church of St. Cuthbert's probably something might be she might be there roaming around for stuff. Mm. Well, it's not gonna hurt anything to check the rebel anyway. Mm. You want me to stay here and help you out or any, or do you want to come along with me? No, no, you uh, you go on ahead. I'll I'll finish up here if I find anything I'll let you know though fair enough do me a favor um, I know we're limited on resources but have Kiana look up the uh, the murders that had taken place at the temple of, of Pelor three of the priests were dead and the head priest had went missing given the situation I can sense another revenge plot in the mix the Temple of Pelor. Oh, you're talking about the one during the attack? Yeah. Rock, give me a perception check, please. You get it. Okay. Um, even in your sleeping state, um, you... You waken to the sounds of, of Chobbs. Um, he's moving. Seems to be sort of stretching out. Um, you probably hear, like, the peep of, of the young guy stretching as much as he can. You hear, like, as he stretches out, and you see him leave the room. You overhear, as you're kind of sitting up and coming to, the the sounds of Ulheim's voice. Um, he already has a pretty deep and baritone voice, but it seems to carry through the nearly destructed stone wall. As you know, just outside of this was where it was where Dugabras was at. Um Jacob isn't here. The others seem to be resting. I will likely begin the process of making some sort of breakfast for Chobs with okay. whatever we have available. <clears throat> what do you guys have? I'm curious. What what do you make for breakfast for a young boy, even if he is a bit of one with a healthy appetite, what's uh, what's it look like? I would have hmm. had a, I would have a 
in my hero's feast for them already. Mm. Okay. I was about to say, he's going to get warm dirt, and he's going to like it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Back in my day, we, ate when we sucked on rocks, and we liked it. How how long does does sure um, did. Hero's Feast uh, last, this, this spell? Uh, one hour per level. Okay, so it's going to be there for a while. Is it going to remain warm? Oh, wait, hold on. It's duration of one hour plus 12. I think it's one hour for... The actual. Hold on, let me see. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, worm it says dirt. it takes. It says it takes one hour to consume, but it doesn't actually say like the full duration. But the effects last up to twelve hours. Okay. All right. So it's gonna. It's gonna last a little while. I'm. I'm assuming that you're going to try to to leave this out at the no at their normal waking times. Is my guess. Yeah. Yeah, as they start waking up, they got something to eat and drink. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Easy enough. Then, then you do. You just you do just that, right? Um, Chobs will will walk out. Um, you can't really see much at this point, Rock. But your best guess is that he's moved out. You can probably see the table and and smell of the various fixins, if you will. But mm -hmm. most of your attention is drawn to the the noise outside. Uh, do you move out? Do you try to wake up uh, Court? Do you wake up, Marion? Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and wake up the others, and I will uh, grab something palmable as I walk out to check out the noise. Okay. Well, given how big you are, you could palm a turkey. <laughs> exactly, something palmable. <laughs> <laughs> Chobs has got like six grapes, and you just walk out with a whole fucking turkey, and you're just like, what's going on? <laughs> like unhinging jaw and everything. Warrior needs food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> perfect yeah 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 so when you go out yeah you see it looks as if Chobbs is carrying something out of the building but he's he seems to round the corner of the of the mostly destroyed door um your best guess is that he's probably also going to see what Alheim is doing so you grab something palmable do you do you meet up with them or do you just kind of wait it out waking up the others or what what's your plan um Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to wait it out, waking up the others. Okay. You're going to trust, you're going to trust Alheim and Jacob with a kid running around. <laughs> okay, he's going uh, to trust me to let, let me narrow that scope down. You're going to trust Jacob around a child. <laughs> Look, dude, I can run 80 feet in six seconds. I think he'll be okay. <laughs> he's killed say that, but Jacob five times, times as many people before. in half as much time. <laughs> <laughs> I've killed more, you know, I've killed kids in less time by accident. I need that clipped completely out of context. <laughs> right there. And this is exhibit A. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Uh, all right. Yeah. So, Jacob, you over here, Olheim, saying, like, go on, um, ask about these things. Uh, we need to know what's going on and, and check it out. So we were expecting some sort of uh, retaliation. And as he says that, Chobs, you see his, his head kind of pop around the corner as his feet follow quickly. What's going on? Not hey, much, Ch Chubbs. How you doing? Ch <laughs> Chubbs. It's Chubbs. 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 Hey, Do I hear this from inside? <laughs> but who's on first? If you if you start the walk, yeah, you'll you'll hear that. It's Is Chubbs. it a U or an O in your name? It's it's the it's the full one, not the broken one. Jobs. Ah ah, jobs. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know we'll save the iPhone creator. Get and and he'll he'll just kind of like, you know, kind of roll his eye wide eyes over at Allheim, sipping on his tea like fuck kids no. <laughs> I mean. What's the matter, lad? There's, there's food inside. Go have yourself a meal. He holds up a, a handful of like grapes. Well, I'm gives him a nod. He's piecing right, on well, it. Just, just a small amount. Stay What's back it? a little bit. I don't. You do you want any help? No, lad. I, and he kind of shows his metal, like his 
platinum hands. I've got safety gloves. Well, I don't, I don't have gloves, but I'm strong. Dad always said I was strong. And, and, well, he, he's not lifting anything. And he seems capable. And, well, I can help. And, like, he shoves all the grapes in his mouth real quick. And he walks over and just starts picking up the stones as much as he can at a time. And waddling over and dropping it, like, ten feet away. Like, letting it roll down the hill. He, he looks, he looks over at him kind of. Kind of just gives like a little slice of. Put the stones in the corner over there near that wall. Okay. Okay. Not the big ones though. Just the small ones. And for the record, this is called oversight. I'm managing. Right. Jacob, you're doing nothing you... other than drinking tea. Yes, I am drinking tea while I oversee and make sure that you are safe. Lee going through rubble. Mo safely moving rocks? Well, yes, it can be a dangerous job. Maybe if you no, move that don't. rock. And he points over your shoulder. There's an enormous half-orc palming a turkey. I've yet to meet a rock I couldn't move. I dare you to try. Go on, Jacob. And you see him... Toss another sheet of metal top to, off to the right side. Fuck. I suggest you finish your tea, get your hands dirty, like the rest of us. Mm, he's he's, picking up rocks he's got rocks. guard duty. I've actually got some plans to take care of some things in the city. Apparently I have to check about a murder in Paylor, as well as see if I can't find Jenya. Oh, is Marion awake? I just woke him. He should be rousing about now. Mm. I'll see about taking him with me to see Jenya. And maybe Jobs. Ch Chobs. Chobs. Ch Ch yes. Ch Chobs. Why is it so hard to yeah. say? Your name's Jacob. It's not like I'm calling you Jukub. <laughs> it's Chobs. Chobs. Yes. <laughs> He, he, you see Chobbs kind of lean in to Olam. And he's the god? I fear so. I don't sleep not anymore long, because he's he not me. I'm also a genius. I don't know what that means. No, you're a Jacob. Yeah, he'll kind of just like squint at rock on that Wait, one. Did he just say he's a genie's ass? <laughs> Yes, he did. Okay. He's, do I call you God or do I call you Duke of Genie's ass? You can call me Guard. Go we'll we'll stick with that job. Chops. What did you what did you say, Jacob? You said card? You said card, right? Allheim, I swear to God. You swear to a lot of things. Finish okay, I swear to several gods. Finish your tea and go walk the city. Get back to moving your rubble and finding. Well, Han picks up like a like a small piece of like broken like plywood and just like chucks it at him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just kind of like lean, roll around the corner. That way, it just bounces off and poke a tongue at him. Channel Chops smite. Chops laughs. Jesus, Channel Smile. Oh my God, um, Chops laughs. He he gets. <laughs> he just tries to muffle it down. Shouldn't have forgot. He's necessary. Don't mind him. Are all the gods going to be blue now? No, just just him for now. And why does his hair move like that? It's a form of magic. Magic he was guy. cursed by a witch for being such an ass. A genius. A genius. I was such an ass that constantly around me the wind must blow. He was he's really balding. It's a it's an enchantment. Did oh, you no. just accuse me of having a magical wig? Yes. It's a two magical toupee. <laughs> Please. Hairpiece. Okay. He's he's good people though. Don't don't you mind him. 
He's just doing that to tease you. I don't know if I'll like him if he can't say my name right. Okay. He'll, He'll learn. learn. And he, he kind of like like puts his uh, finger on him. You're going to be a knight soon, so if he ever gets on your nerves, you can beat him up yourself. Yeah. It's not my fault his father gave him a difficult to pronounce name. I'll go at him the same way that I took out the troll. You remember, Rock? Well, I turns around. I remember. Kind of confused. I remember. It's. He, he, you why see don't, him, like, why don't you show? Troll. He's like. <laughs> why don't you pretend that Olheim's a troll and show him how you did it? It was something I learned from my sister. You see how you fight a troll? He puts his hands up and he moves up to you like he's gonna fist fight you. And then he just kicks you square in the dick. Who, Alheim? I have a, feel, yeah, I have a feeling that's not going to do shit to Alheim. Rock still bursts wow. out laughing. <laughs> Regardless. He looks down while that yeah, is Yeah, Jacob sprays war. tea. He, he sprays tea. Why didn't it hurt him? <laughs> He's a bit of a special man. He's a Barbie doll. Oh, were you kicked by a bull? <laughs> No. <laughs> My uncle was it's kicked amazing. by a bull, and he felt nothing there either. Alheim, are you a eunuch? To make this easier to understand, eunuch. it would be easy just to kind of show you. And he grabs Chops' head no. and he puts it to his chest. Oh god, just Jesus, the whole context of that uh, he, situation yeah, he, was fucked, yeah. dude. Yeah. You should no, feel he, this. He puts, his, <laughs> he, he, puts his, he puts Chops' hand on his chest and kind of just looks at him. What am I feeling? What aren't you feeling? He he takes his other he takes uh, Chop's other hand and puts it on ch on his own chest to kind of push it. There's nothing happening. What do you feel when you hold your chest? He pauses for a moment and you see him move his hand to his own chest. Something beaten's inside. No, and he kind of does it again. We're using on beating none. No. What's that mean? He looks to you immediately, Rock. He's special, like we said before. All right. Well, well mine stopped beating too. Not for a long time, kid. That's something you don't need to worry about. So long what? as you stay away from Jacob. I'll stay away from the genie's ass. Whoa, whoa. I feel attacked. Uh, uh, you've got a history. <laughs> well, I will uh, kind of look around and he'll, uh, he'll find like a, I guess like a hand axe. I'm assuming we kind of have basic tools around the area. Yeah, um, you probably have them inside, is my guess. Unless yeah. you brought them out specifically, you'll have to go back in to get them. I, I, I mean, if it's like a hand axe for cutting wood, I would probably hide it outside. Gotcha. Um, okay. But I would, I would hand it to him. Go chop the, uh, go chop the wood. We can use that for fire later. If you're strong, you can cut through it. And what if I'm not strong? Eh, then you'll get Rock to do it. Keep swinging until these get stronger, and he kind of squeezes his arm. Okay. He goes and he fetches like a hatchet or some kind of axe. He's he's big for his age. Um, yeah. But he's, I mean, he's not even 10 years old yet, so you can kind of imagine. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but from there, I mean, he'll he'll look over to Rock. How are you holding up? As well as I can be, I suppose. You want to give me a hand? Of course. Mm. At this point, Jacob's going to leave Rock and Ulheim to it and go hunting for Marion in court. I would be on my way from the church to the bathhouse at some point. Sure. Do you rise at, at, at first light or... Do yeah. You... Okay. Yeah. Then... I'd be trying to train my sleep schedule for church work. Gotcha. Then you will find yourself um, almost in company with with Jacob at this point. Jacob will be returning back to the bathhouse, and he seems that he has a goal in mind, 
but he hasn't noticed you walking down the street at this point. I'm not going to say anything until I get closer and he notices. I always like to get the jump on people. Okay. Especially friends. Probably not going to notice. You move back inside. Court is resting. Marion is not far either. Um, it looks as if he sat against the wall and just kind of propped up a bag or something to rest his head as he lumped over and fell to the side. I'm going to step over and grab something to eat. Okay. So there's a feast just available. One of the usuals. All right, then, mm. Jacob, you, you you see them. Um, she hasn't quite made her way in yet, but you you find them immediately. What are your intentions? Mm. Well, I'd probably chop off my tea, seeing as I spat most of it out. And... Marion, court. You know, give them the usual morning salutations and... Lean up on a corner of the table, waiting on them to uh, wake up a little bit. It doesn't take much. Just a, a, a subtle <clears throat> nod or kick or adjusting of, of your voice, and Marion kind of comes to. He leans in, <laughs> his wrist over his eyes, kind of wiping his brow, his forehead. Mm. Morning. Morning, Jacob. Hmm. I was wondering if you two had any plans for the day. Cord's gonna look at Marion. Um, when did you want to start working on the orphanage? Or whatever you want to call it. Well, as it happens, that's exactly what I'm inquiring about. Why I'm inquiring. Um, Marion, as I mentioned last night, there is a woman in town I'd like us to try and entreat by the name of the Lady Jenya. Mm, yes, this, this is not the first time I've heard this name. Mm. Well, I was just thinking if you and Court don't have any big plans this morning, we could, you know, take off as a trio. And if we happen to come across Jenya, you and Court can discuss the idea of this orphanage slash training center. And... I would be willing to, but if at first you don't mind, I I could do for a bite. Something on the stomach will help start my day. Oh, by all means, take your time. I'm not headed anywhere. Eat, you know. Eat, clean up. Do, take a shit. Do what you need to. And the moment he stands, he sees all of the food again. <laughs> I could get used to this. All I'm imagining is uh, Jacob Stenton going, yeah, go ahead, go eat. And he just sits there, arms crossed, staring at him. Just... Oh no, he's just going to I've seen honesty it. and you know, kind of eye court. It helps when you have a god nearby. Uh, grabs, grabs what he can and he'll sit down at the far end of the table. Remember, this is a long it's like a twelve foot long table, and yeah. um as you sort of both turn to each other, mm. this is when you will see um the lady appear. Fuck. Bell set. She darkens the doorway. Quick kill it! Not actually, though. Don't, don't, don't attack Elsa. Doesn't go well. Hey, hey, hey! At least I know Chobs is outside. <laughs> if ever there was a time. <laughs> Are you monologuing right now as she walks to the door? I can fucking kill the shit out of you. And Chobs is outside. Meaning he's out of the line of fire. Yes, my plan is almost complete. Oh, God. Get all the kids away in a 60-mile radius. Mm. But no, seeing Thalsa stepping inside, Jacob's going to uh, kind of lift his tea, dip her a nod. Came across a friend of yours yesterday. I don't have many friends. Oh, I guarantee you this one isn't a friend either. I use the term loosely. Mm. You're a little yes. quiet, Annie. Could you tell me why exactly the head priest of the Temple of Weejas is looking for you specifically? Because I'm going to be the head mother of the Temple of Weejas. And, uh, well, I need to prove that either Ike Iverson is dead or unsuiting to complete his work there. Well, he's most definitely not 
dead. And when did you decide on this? What? This has been a thing that's been going on for quite some time. I don't know why you're so surprised by that. Quite some time? This is the first time I've heard of it. I mean, I know you've been kind of absent and all, but... That's since where I've been. You've been trying to be part of the church of Ouija's. Going yeah. to be. Okay, you're going to be part of the church of Ouija's. Correct. The one that we're trying to pull down. Pull down. Yes, is in destroy, remove from the city. This is the first I've ever heard of this. Well, why do you think we're chasing down Ike Iverson? Ike Iverson doesn't work for the church anymore. Says who? Says anyone that's ever been to the church. Which is currently abandoned, and I am the only resident. Yeah, yeah at this point, Jacob's going to kind of look at court. Did you know any of this? Marion walks over. He seems to be basically fisting a, a, a lot of bread into his mouth, just shoveling in as much as he can. He gets some chews, and you hear this. Have you gone? Hold on. Gets a big swallow, tosses back some wine or some near beer. <clears throat> have you gone through the Ruby Convocation? I have not yet. Ruby Convocation is coming up this month. I don't believe we have enough followers in town to attend, so I'll be heading back to Sasserine to head there. Ulheim Burst said, who said Ruby Convocation? <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? Burst through the wall like the Kool-Aid man. Someone say Convocation! I'll be right back real quick. Oh, yeah. I need to get some cough medicine. Go ahead. Marion continues, my sister was with the Church of Sasserine for a short time. It's an interesting place. She I visited. Did, she did not do well within the trials, and while she succeeded, she found herself appointed to a town as one of the High Sisters. And, unfortunately, as things go, she became rather ill with something that could not be cured by the church, and we lost her. It was many years ago. I'm sorry to hear. Wait, when were you in Sasserine? Um, two days ago? Isn't Sasserine pretty far away? It's quite far, yes. But you were also here for the whole you know, giant fire monster thing, were you not? Yes, like a week and a half ago. Magic, I assume. Is it not? Sasserine is near half a month away. Yes, of course, magic. Uh, I am a sorceress. Um, Marion, right? Yes, Marion Greyweather. Heard a lot about you. Former knight errant. Now I'm... A... Well... Worse for wear. And he takes a, a almost poignant bow with his single hand. He dips for you, the lady. You still look plenty strong. <laughs> I'm and shadow of my former self. Potentially still more competent than some of the people in here. And I'm just going to eye Jake. I think I am a little long in the tooth. More in the years. I have quite a bit more experience. With experience, he, even he, can become attuned to this thing, the intelligent type called. Books can learn a thing. I'm just going to smile and start making my way over to the table. Not to doubt your competence, lad. You seem very capable. I am very capable, thank you for asking. I didn't ask. Bingo! Every, everybody's just attacking me today. Not yet. This can be mm. arranged. Can also be deranged if you like it that way. <sighs> All right. Her, I expect the shit from. Marion, thin it out a little bit. Marion, court, I'll see you out front. 
and he's going to just kind of step out the front door and sip on his tea and mutter dark things. You hear Olheim like in the distance? Shadow, shadowy claws kind of... and black holes, damn it. Hearing <laughs> hearing kind of the muttering that's been going on uh, from the, the wall over, like, you you see Olheim turn around. Well, Rock would see Olheim turn around and just yell, Blasted boy, go to work! <laughs> Yelling at Jacob. I'm just... I'm just Wait, did you just call me boy? <laughs> he is like 200 years your senior. He was middle-aged when you met. Middle-aged <laughs> Palmet. That's like 300 plus years. To be fair, everything I've known about myself up to this point is it turned out to be a lie. For all I know, I was there when Occipitus fell. Yeah, you think. Yeah. No, well, no, not likely, but all the same, <laughs> just still. I don't want to have to be called boy by the midget. The midget corpse. I mean, he's tall for a dwarf. Stop being such a boy. Like that pun. Not being a boy. I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm a manly man. I'm a lobster man. Click, click. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Please don't. You can, you can give us the clamps over here? Jesus Christ. All right, Zoidberg, uh, go to he work. Has big, meaty claws. I don't know if it would change anything using uh, some strength surges in that search. Would uh, would we have yielded anything? I don't know how long it's going to take. No, it's You guys will probably invest no more than like an hour and a half at this point. And Chobbs isn't really complaining either, uh, as Formesius has said. Um, he's just being as diligent as he possibly can. He's not really getting through anything. Um, oh yeah, he's he's kind of like hitting the axe and it's kind of bouncing off the woods. Or like immediately as it strikes, the the whole axe handle just like turns in his hand and he's like, oh, yeah, like holding it. He just um, not cut out for this kind of work yet. Uh, Olheim kind of seeing the, the time they're taking. He, I mean, if these guys were alive, I mean, we'd hear something at this point. Um, yeah, you he kind of he, yeah. Um, he kind of dusts off his, his hands, in a sense, and then he looks to Chobbs. Chobbs, go wash your hands and go eat, uh, Go get something to eat. Join the others. He looks Rock to you, looks, uh, and then he looks to Rock as spin. well, kind of like looking for the, the okay. You give Rock him the nod. Just nod. Okay. Mm -hmm. When he gets the nod, he'll, he'll drop the axe and quickly run inside. You you think that he's getting food? You're not really sure, but he's not here. Yeah. Um. Um. Looking back to Rock. You plan on keeping him here for the time being until Marion decides to set up this training camp or whatever it is he's planning. Well, I picks up the axe and he kind of like slams it through uh, one of the pieces of wood to kind of hold it in place. Yeah, you've been you using strength surges, leave. so the moment that you do it, it immediately, like, smashes through the wood. Like, it doesn't yeah. stick, it just goes right through the wood. Like, just into the ground? Like, yeah. I just cleave the ground? Okay. Um, but, like, he kind of looks down, like, my bad kind of thing, and then looks back over to Rock. Do you, do you want him to leave? I have to say I've grown fond, but it's safer elsewhere. Here is not the place for a child. Even if there was a chance, I mean, if you've grown fond of the boy, you can teach him your ways. You're capable. I appreciate the confidence, but I don't know that I'm much of a teacher yet. And I'd have to move out. Well, that's not a well, problem. I'm going to take another. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take another piece of wood and throw it because sure. Jacob is still here after. <laughs> After said he, saying he was going to leave three times now, yeah, he's still yeah. lingering. Like, he, he chucks it over, like, the side. As and bad as a southern you're, mother. You're fucking shot-putting metal at him. <laughs> Go to work! <laughs> Takes the door and he fucking Boy. shurikens it. He just goes, Doof. you see it arc around the corner. So, are no, you going to make um, a roll for this? No, I'm not. <laughs> you, you, yeah. lob, you lob it over and you just like, ah! as Chobbs goes down because you fucking <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> oh, please, God, that would be... That would be such vindication for me. 
I can see it now. He'd step around the corner and be like, Jake, was it me? I still walk blame up. you. A flawless victim. Yeah, no joke. You see him walk around the corner, he's like, my head hurts. And there's like a metal slat just hanging out of the side of his head. It doesn't hurt like here or here as much as it does right here. Oh, God. <laughs> not here. Not so much here. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, my God, yeah, he looks. Do I, do I leave it in or do I take it out? Do I leave it in or take it out? He 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 looks over. He looks at uh at rocks still. Well, I mean, if we if we have the funds available, I can bless our place to become a sanctuary of sorts to repel evil. Not that. I mean, I don't mean evil. any offense by this, but previously your your blessings and. Even your word have meant little in protection. I think he'll Fair be enough. all right as is, as all right as he can be. How does that? How does that land when he says that? Do you do you find that as an insult or is this sort of like eye opening or how do how does Olheim interpret? I mean, that? it's like a bit of both, but I mean, I I can't tell him that he's wrong, you know. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Um. So, I mean, Olheim will, like, agree, kind of like, yeah, I guess. Um, it's a reluctant nod, but he uh, takes, a, like, a cloth out, kind of wipes the, dust the metal off of uh, the wood chips and stuff off of his hands and uh, tosses it over to Rock. Let's go get something to eat. Give me perception, Rock. Oh, there's worms on it. Very good. Okay, this time you you are even far more alert. Um, you're not just waking up. Um, and in this case, as he's lobbing this over, it you kind of like just happen to miss it a little, or you kind of catch it on its way down, and you do notice something that catches your eye that you hadn't seen previously. Um, there is some material. It sort of looks um, like uh, like sh I don't want to say shrapnel or like um, it's like ash, but it seems to be laid very ornately over the bits of metal. Uh, or stone that was here to make this structure. Um, it's sort of, it's sort of like a magenta in color, uh, or a deep red, like a blood red almost. Um, but it's it's got one larger. It's like the the rear piece of the the sheet metal uh, has is laid down upon it, and it's relatively thick. It was challenging for Dugobras to put up, which made it a stern wall for him to build the roof upon. Do you want to give this a shot to try to lift up and see what it is? Yeah. I'll um I'll try to lift it up myself, and if I need to, if I feel like I'm struggling with it, I'll call for Alheim's assistance. Sure, Alheim, you see him. Um, grab grab upon this this rag or what what have you, and he focuses a bit more on this this wrap. Give me a strength check, Rock. That's that's really good. That's exceptionally good. Jesus Christ, plus seven. Yeah. Um. Uh, with ease, you were able to to lift this and and throw it back. Um, it hits a, a gap in the uh, in basically the floor plan of the building, and it sort of tumbles down the back of the hill. Luckily, it's early enough; not many people are out. But when you do, you reveal that there appears to be an ashen form. Um, there are some bits of clothing, some leather, and it looks like there is some bone inside of this. Is it like the form is scattered large. bones throughout? Uh, some, some of the, the hardier bones, there's like a bit of a, a pelvis, um, thick portion, like the sternum itself is, is incredibly thick, so it, it's remained behind. If there were ribs, they have since dusted, but what you are finding here is, is most of a, um, a large sized body. This person was every bit of like 10 to 11 feet tall, um, but your best guess is this is this figure by the name of Dugabras. Did you have mm -hmm. much of a meeting with him? I don't believe I interacted with him directly at any point, but I'm almost certain I would have seen him around at one point or another. Sure. So when you, yeah, I thought you saw him like once or twice, though. When mm -hmm. you kicked up this metal, it brought up like this, this almost gout of dust that kind of comes up with it. So you see a lot of this. It's like a magic show of sorts, right? Like you've brought up the sheet metal and it carried up a lot of this, this red, darkened red dust and ash. Um, it does kind of pepper your person. You see that it kind of paints you a little bit like someone has dusted you. Um, and then it it comes it stands to reason that you're guessing that this is what's remaining of his body and that his ashes have just kind of poured over the top of you. 
Rock, you would see this this gout of this ashen dust sort of pour over him as he lifts up this large bit of sheet metal. Oh, I mean, mean. Uh, forgive me, forgive me, all him. Yeah, um, um, yeah. As I mean, seeing that happen, I, I would walk up and kind of. I, I wouldn't say drop to a knee, but it's. I mean, it's one of those things where it's. He kind of just like looks up and kind of does that like that fuck kind of thing, you know? Yeah. <sighs> You're for certain. This is. It's Dugo Bros. It's Dugo Bros. Yeah. He, uh. I don't know if you're okay with this, but, uh. He puts his. He puts his gauntlet down onto the ashes. And he'll, uh. Channel a healing, uh. Channel positive energy to kind of, like. Disperse the ashes to let him kind of fly away into the wind. Sure. So you. You channel your, um. Your divinity. And. Essentially, what happens is it creates just like this pulse. This. Almost like an EKG pulse. And as it hits the ground, it sort of kicks it up. Um, all that really remains is uh, the piece of the pelvis and the bit of the sternum and probably the thickest part of the skull, but everything else seems to have dispersed. Um, however, this does create a big, like, burst of this dust outward. Um, yeah. I'm Rock, how do you handle this? You've already been, like, uh, doused in this dust now. Now he's kind of, like, kicking it back up. As I, I'm assuming, because it's the only way that this situation would really play out, the wind's probably blowing in my direction. I'm probably coated in it, uh, sort of a la Big Lebowski, Donnie's ashes, just completely coating the dude. Yeah, that, that's fair, yeah. Um, little cough, just <clears throat> as a cloud of dust shoots out of my mouth. I believe I'll go clean myself up now. Sorry, just wanted to give him a... I understand. This, the sentiment was felt. Oh Rest my god, he's in us. my mouth. He's in my mouth. Um, I mean, if there's any, like, remains of ashes left, he kind of clutches on them and goes, there's I not. hope that wherever you're at, you are, you're a, truly a free flame. Mm. May you always burn bright. And he kind of just stands up and walks away from him. The, you do notice the... that clearing this bit of sheet metal has cleared up most of the room itself. There is still some debris from the Fallen Forge, but most of what you were witness to is just this single body. Malgrim is not here. No blood or anything? Okay. No, there's no the body. The Forge. Nothing. Is it still burning? I mean, cinders at best. Okay. Um... Yeah, he'll he'll leave it for now, and he'll uh, head back inside. Okay. All right, so we're going to pan this out so that we see Thelsa, Rock, Ulheim, and Court. Marion is also there. Chobbs is there. But this is where we've seen now that Jacob has left. So... Mm. Um, well, said... no, I haven't left. I'm waiting on Marion and Court. Because oh, we're oh, all planning... right. I was like... We're all planning to go ahead and find Jenya. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I'm gonna give you guys that roleplay scene. I'll be right back. Um, by all means, roleplay it up. All right. Um, I guess walking back inside, uh, we would all take. Well, I'm guessing Rock's gonna wash up first because he's he's Dugo covered. Um, <laughs> he's he got Dugo Dugo dusted. Dude, gross. <laughs> uh, Dust of brass. Yeah. You know, I am worried now what happens when Jacob finally kicks it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take you to I'm gonna throw you in a vat of holy water. I'm like, watch his body melt, look. <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh we'll do the same send off that we uh that we did with the what the fuck were they? Um the was it's it a awesome. cart of bodies? Yeah, oh, light it on fire. And was, and yeah, and then throw it into the lake. <laughs> yep. That was Dan's doing. Yep. Dude, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna Highlander you, all right? We're gonna take you to the Citadel. We're gonna go to the highest point of the tree. <laughs> we're gonna chuck you off as as far as we can. Or right before he's about to die, I'll go tree stride with him, leave him in the tree, and cut it down. Oh my god! Oh, or look, every time you're about to die, I'll cast Stabilize on you, right? And I'll just keep bringing you back over and over for for a minute. <laughs> It'd be like the Guardian in fucking Indiana Jones. <laughs> Choose wisely. I'm like, aren't you dying to see us? Oh, look, he died again. <laughs> but uh, let's, uh, let's actually get on with the roleplay. 
uh, <laughs> as uh, as we get inside, uh, Wilhelm will give a nod to Thelsa. Um, how was your business uh, outside of this? Enlightening. I uh, didn't realize how big of a difference there was between the church here and the church there. Guessing the number of people was the biggest factor. It certainly must have uh, must have been. I didn't realize that there were so many people that followed the church in Sassarine, despite the church uh, matrons founding the town so long ago. Did they uh, tell you about Ike? He kind of nods over to Jacob and the rest of the group. Jacob mentioned Ike. I, when I went to talk to them, they had given me some objective to do here before any progress could have been made with the church here. What do and, you need? Uh, I need to prove that Ike Iverson and the past mother of the church are either unsuit to work or dead. Well, we know Ike's situation. He defected, didn't he? Yes, and as long as I can prove that, then it won't be too big of a deal. But I don't know where the head mother has run off to well, or if she made it out no my hypothesis from what i said before as far-fetched as it sounds i still think it might be fables it could be but there's no way for us to really know unless we were able to find her but what i thought would have happened was alongside rufus who had fled the town when things went south Maybe all of the church did as well. Well, given the situation, I would say not really a combat-oriented or political-oriented goal would be to bring religion back into the town, give people hope. I... At the very least, I mean, no one's really looking in my direction at this point, so maybe we can get people converting over to Wejas. Yeah, I know. One other thing I did when I was there was... I had them appoint some, some head or head fathers and mothers, uh, just the elders from the church there, and sent them down. They're on their way back. Do they need any assistance? I think they're okay traveling. They had uh, a few guard that I think were just there for the escort, but just people to bring religion back because as I had mentioned to the head mother and head father in Sasserine it was, this town is devoid of any religion at this point as all of our churches are left abandoned true, and speaking of uh, abandoned churches uh, well since all of you are here just keep a, an eye out for anyone representing the temple of Palor uh, during the vampire attack the the head priest's daughter was one of the vampires, it turns out. And in order to quell the issue of the vampire children, well, I had to destroy her. Since then, the three other priests of the temple have been killed. And he's missing. To correct you, this uh, this was not the Temple of Palor. This was the Temple of Cord. Cord. I'm sorry, Temple of Cord. I don't know why I said Palor. Give me like five seconds. Noted. Uh, Marion and Chops Idiot. still still eats. They still um imbibe as much as they possibly can. They know that it's not going to last here. Corb's going to be in the same boat. He's also eating with them. Tell us as well. Hero's Feast does provide some benefits. It's more than just food. It's it it actually a plus one to something. Um, let's find out. Ronald, can you queue up Heroes Feast? I want to see what, what benefits they're going to get from it. Gives it a plus 40 to movement speed. Um, Is cured of all sicknesses and nausea. If anyone is affected by poison, they get a resistance against that poison. And the poison is neutralized. A cured creature, no additional. they suffer no additional effects from the poison. You gain and 1d8 temporary hit points plus 1 point per 2 caster levels. Yeah. Nice. Oh, so, wait, and 
It's plus the five. food grants each creature that partakes a plus one morale bonus on attack rolls and will saves, and a plus four on saving throws against poison and fear effects for 12 hours. Additionally, the spell kills some hazards and parasites. Mm -hmm. This does not prevent reinfection. So this does a lot. Your will saves increase by four. Chubbs had his ring warden removed. Yeah, look at that. Chubbs. Chubbs? Chubbs. Jobs? Steve? Um, <laughs> outside of that, though, um, anything else that you might have learned on your time away? Um, not a whole lot. I learned some of the church, some stuff I figured you guys wouldn't be too interested in, in knowing. It's not anything that is particularly... Uh, important? Like what? Um, I had to go through some, some testing, I suppose, with the church there. A show of uh, faith. Yeah, essentially. And, uh, well, I'm just gonna hold up my hand and show that I'm missing a pinky. This is something that came of it. Are you, are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't hurt anymore. Unless, you know, you press on it. That's kind of how wounds work. But it seems I can't quite heal it. Not by magical or regular means. So I would, I mean, if I could find the the regents to regrow it, I mean, there wouldn't be a, a way to do that, or it would be a bad show of faith to do I think it would be a bad show of faith, at least in my mind. Very well. Well, as long as you're unharmed, I guess that's good news. I'm all right. Although, um, well, it was a weird experience, but with the head mother there, I shared all of my memories and learned all of hers. And it's been an interesting time just kind of mulling over what it takes and the devotion she has. And I'm I'm working on it. Well, it's good that you found faith. There is some amount of... Some, like, lingering uh, mortification, right? She doesn't seem, like, totally mortified, but there is some... Something that lurks behind her explanation when she says that. Especially when she dictates that she shared her memories with another person. Yeah, I mean... I, I mean, I, we haven't been around thus long, but I, I would I would assume that Wolheim would be smart enough to know that trying to pry into specific information like that would wouldn't really yield any answer, at least not one that he's gonna feel that's gonna be justified. So sure. it's kind of one of those things where he kind of has to take it as it is. Well, as far as it goes right now, what's on the agenda today then? Um, I am not really sure where to start. I guess we have to talk at least about the Ike situation. True. Because I'm... the immediate threat at this point, at least to you. Yeah. Um, he knows I'm trying to be part of the church as far as uh, Jacob had mentioned. But I don't really know anything about it. I recall our last encounter, and it wasn't one that was particularly favorable for us. No, it wasn't. He threatened Genya. The head of the Church of St. Cuthbert's? Correct. Well, if none of us really have anything else to do, then I guess we can move as a group. Staying close together would probably yield better results than wandering off individually. Yes. So I can um, go check up on Genya if you guys want to do that, unless there's something specific you need to do alone. Not particularly right away. Um, I do have to find a means to cut my ties to the Demon Scar. And I've got a couple ideas in mind, but if you can come up with something that's better than my ideas, I'm open to suggestion. I can help you with an atonement if I had the resources. 
I don't... I mean, it's worth an attempt. Well... There's two problems with it. One, it's the actual resources. I still haven't yet collected the gold that we've received for the statue. On top of that, I don't know if we Joss would be okay with me trying to interfere with something like that. At least severing your, your bond with the demon scar, I don't know how that would be viewed in, in her eyes, unless she wants you to keep it. It was part of the requirements that I had from the church in Sassari was I needed to cut myself from what tied me to the demons, essentially. Well, this might be a lot to ask for, but is there any way if you can ask her to see if she would be okay with me assisting you? I can try and find a way out there, but it won't be today. This would have to be in a few days. Enough time to gather myself, because the journey, albeit not taking that long, is still kind of perilous. I understand. Well, if you can get in touch with your deity, ask her for me. If I, I can, can at try. least help you, then <clears throat> that'll be enough. Outside of that, I think we should also try working with the community a little more. While there are people in the pavilion that have shelter, I think us being so disconnected from them is problematic. It doesn't build enough trust. If anything, I, I would say we could try making a party for them, something to show that we, we mean that we're there to help them. We do have some beds inside of the church of Weejas, but... I know that once the, once the uh, patrons from Sasserine arrive, most of the beds will be taken. But people if are welcome to stay there if we can find some kind of temporary. If stay. we can, then let's. Why don't we do this? We we get some of the men, whoever's left. We can pull from the, the empty houses that aren't being used. We can take them to the Weejas Temple, and we can have a. I guess a temporary place for them to stay in that's not going to be cold at night All right um i'll talk to the mayor about it and see what he thinks he's going to be the best person to talk to at least when it comes to getting public publicity publicity and uh with the public eye <laughs> um one other thing is that it's big on Weejas's behalf for funeral rites so another good listen. way we can make standard is with once the other uh, churchgoers arrive, then I, I'm certain that we can find a way to arrange some more funerals for the dead of families. If and anything, then, we can try making another donation. We still have plenty of gold to rebuild the, the guild hall ten times over, and I, guess, I, I would say putting a a donation forward for funeral arrangements so people have proper burials would be something that also show good right I'm just trying to figure out where the plot will be with this many deaths I know there won't be enough room in, in cauldron for enough headstones true so is there no no banter additionally from, from court or from from rock Jobs isn't going to say anything. Marion is getting his fill. He's Court's pretty much reached uh, his brim. Court's not very religious, so he doesn't, you know, speak too much to the religious matters, and he's also trying to eat food as well, because if he's going to be working with uh, Marion to start rebuilding, he's going to at least need some sort of energy. I'm still trying to get Dugo Ross out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what a flavor to have. So, you know. What does it taste like? Ashy. <laughs> oh, I would have said fireball. <laughs> what you would be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't know. Man, I feel like there is some questions in my mind now that, uh, for whatever reason, I you know what? I'm never mind. I'll that's if another temperature, hit, that's You gotta hit me with them. Bob, there's no answer that you want to hear. 
Is the fire elemental? What, what's now. the fire elemental's fucking like? What what's the flavor of that? If if a fire elemental blows its load, is that is that fireball? You just hit yeah. with like a cinnamon like. <laughs> well, where do you think fireball comes from? They call it fire nut though. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I mean, oh, if you're talking it's realistically, it's going to be like a magma. load of magma. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Magma. Oh, my God. It's kind of like asking the Superman question. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that's Does fair. Does it shoot like a speeding bullet? Well, go ahead. Go ahead what? Yeah, is, is he as fast as a speeding bullet? That's the... Uh, well, the no, no, no. I'm, I'm not going into the whole Superman... You brought it up. <laughs> Then well, the rules. Nice well, I am 100% certain these geeks that are watching us tonight know enough pop culture. They've probably heard that there's particular a, aspect. There's a fair amount Go of on. snipers drinking that he's probably <laughs> sure that there is a, there's a fucking a, a ward and a hospital that is dedicated to the women that Superman has bedded because they've had back blowouts. Crushed pelvises as far <laughs> as the eye can see. Yeah. Oh man, literally! Yeah, it's called, I don't know, it's doctor, called, one minute I was fine, and the next moment I don't have legs anymore. It's Arkham because anyone fucking crazy enough to do him deserves to go. <laughs> I guess. Look, they just wanted to have some nice evenings with Clark Kent. Yeah, nope. that two thousand psi. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's got that's you know what that's where Kiss came up with that song. Love Gun is actually about Superman. Oh no. Penis. Yeah, there it oh, is. I need another shot it's on the table. Yeah. All right. So that on the table. We nope. said he's the sex machine, ready to reload. That's right. They meant it. Mm -hmm. This oh, being God, said, so what's bad. uh, what are we seeing out of out of our friend Jacob? Jacob, you've been kind of sitting idly by. Normally, you're one to to motor at the mouth. So <laughs> Jacob's been outside sipping on tea. Just he's waiting for us to go. <laughs> waiting on Court and Marion because. Okay. You know, Thelsa's giving him shit. Marion's giving him shit. Allheim's giving him shit. <laughs> Rock's giving him shit. Chubbs is the, giving you shit. The fucking 10 year old is giving him shit. If you stop killing children, maybe we'll stop giving you shit. <laughs> also, if you just pronounce his name the right way. He was willing to be friendly, but you're like, what up, Chubby? I mean, that's not right, is it? And just give him that weird fucking is look. It? That's you, right? You're that kid? Yeah. What's up, Chubbers? He's fucking silent. I love it. He's like, I deserve this. This is what I. This is my penance. All right. So I, I, guys... I try and throw in a little bit of humor, and this is what I got to deal with. You have directions yes. that you can go. You have many things that you can chase up to this point. Surely it's more than than just like, let's go talk to Kiana. Let's go talk to Jenya. What? Are you separating? Are you going together? What's the plan? I want to. I want some details. Court, court. Jacob's plan is for court and you know Jacob's plan was for court and Marion to go see Jenya, and from there he'd go about his usual business. But you know, apparently, Allheim wants everybody to go everywhere all together all the time. You know, rolling like five deep. I propose a new solution. We all spread into a compass roast position, and then we all just walk in that direction, and something will eventually happen when we're all separated. Every just time, Rudo run through the yeah. city. Yeah. So I mean, I, don't I made see a any issues here. Always not, separate uh, the group. It's, you know, it's not it's not the cut and dry thing. You know, so if you once again put it out there, just made a suggestion. Wasn't giving orders. <laughs> More than welcome. To <laughs> choose your own adventure. <laughs> That's so fitting. Can I jump thing. to page forty-seven? Um, oh, you you don't want to. You're dead. If <laughs> if they're going if they're gonna go to Jenya, then I would probably help uh, Thelso with what she's gonna be working with. So, getting the beds and stuff for the people, and then whatever information she might be looking for. So I would tag along with her for the day. Okay. All right. So you want to go with Thelso? Thelso, where are you headed to? Uh, probably head back to the church for the time being, just to look at making some room for, uh, everyone okay. that would be housing there. And then, then looking through the town for ruined buildings that are salvageable enough and unaccompanied. 
All right, so let's go ahead and start with Jenya. Since we've had a lot of action from a little bit of everyone with an exception to Court, which I know that that's just how Red likes to handle things. Let's get Red in action. I want to see Court saying and doing something. All right, so I walk to the nearest market and I pull out my sword. Okay, well, everybody's like dead or broke, so you're alone. I know. That's disappointing. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, buddy. We'll make this. Better. And let's be honest. I, I after everything that's and I started smacking. Oh my god, that would be oh. so bad. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna let Rock deal with that one. He's like, I ain't touching this <laughs> shit. I ain't touching it. Jobs comes back. I didn't like, touch him. I didn't I touch him. He's done it before. He's, He'll the do it big again. twelve year old beat me up. <laughs> Which one? Look, he already has iron rebar in his head. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, what's what's the worst could happen? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you said momentary Tourette's? Are you okay? The floating chromosome. <laughs> I, w I would imagine that if I had a piece of rebar in my head, that's exactly what I'd look like. I don't know. I My guess is you'd probably be fucking dead. You wouldn't be like, nah. We have like three brain cells to share at any point during this game, and they're all going to Ronald at any time. He fucking hogs him. He fucking hogs him the entire game. Yeah, for sure. Give us back we'll our brain that. cells, Ronald. We need them. How you think he come up with that clever line to open all the games? I, I review my character sheet, and I don't say stupid shit. I'm generally, the only two rules I go by. That's what three brain cells does for you, folks. Grab your jeans and grab your locks. Really? Did you say jeans? What the fuck? <laughs> Gotta oh, grab them you. Levi's, my guy. My dungarees making this game hot. <laughs> hey, 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 it's dickies or nothing. <laughs> grab them jeans and grab Are you them. Not wearing jeans, though? <laughs> Fucking case in point. Jeans <laughs> and locks. Motherfucker, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I know any. I know. I like, but that was my favorite thing throughout that entire interaction. Everyone's laughing, Ronald's eating it, and he's going, <laughs> Usa. <laughs> okay. I missed last week. I didn't know what I was coming in for. No, it's like we never stopped, my friend. Yeah, I know. I, I thought maybe it would be like uh, uh, exponential growth to, to reaching this point, but no, it was like. It started. It started there. <laughs> we got there a little yeah, yeah, yeah. too quick for it's, my, it's fine. my my readiness. I this might need to go grab more ice water here in a minute. Side note: uh, one other thing I would be looking for is anything that belonged to Embril that could have been scryed. Sure. Okay, that's fair. Um, following up on that, additionally, you will find that she doesn't really have a lot. She lived very like. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? The opposite of materialistic. She was, she she lived Frugal. frugally to to a degree. She didn't really have much. She just had the teachings, the way, and the experience that life provided for her. Um, so you um, you're not really gonna find a lot. You're gonna find things things that she operated with, like her her teachings, the books. That was probably closer to her than most anything else. But who yeah. knows how many different people have actually touched upon those books. And yeah. how far this crying might go. Yeah, I would just kind of be keeping an eye out for it because that's something that we could have used to track her because she's just kind of been MIA. Okay. All right. So I know that Sniper and Red are going to see Jenya. Correct. Rock, where are you going? And who are you going with? That's a good fucking question. Um,. <laughs> Marion is planning on making some effort of rebuilding at this point, right? Uh, yeah, he's he's probably going to see about what it would take to, to sort of get out like a, a blueprint or a layout of what this establishment is going to look like. He needs to know what he's operating in. As one armed man, he needs all of the advantages that he can take. Right. Um, I will probably bring... You said Chobbs is not planning on doing anything at this point? Chobbs is not currently tended to. Okay. Then yeah, I'll probably bring him with me and go with Marion to uh, try to figure out something at this point. I mean, something's better than nothing. Okay. 
All right. So I was under the impression that Marion was going with Jacob and with Court as well. Yes. So then, all right. So then that lot of you are going there. Yep. Okay. Then Ronald, you will be heading with Thelsa to the church, correct? Okay. Let's go ahead and handle the, the Jenya business right away. Okay. I'm going to just take like two seconds and go grab something non-alcoholic. <laughs> okay. All right. This is perfect. Guys, you should jeans. Yeah. <laughs> we should take a bit of a small break here. If you guys are going to get something to drink, run off to the bathroom or do anything like that. Was he just looking at a cup on his shelf out of anger? <laughs> this fucking mason jar, I swear to God. For the record, it is a really cute cup. But, um... <laughs> No, I'm just looking away so that I don't, I don't show the stream how fucking pissed off I am. It's like, I can't believe, I can't believe you didn't leave me in a gas station somewhere when we were riding in your truck all the way up to you. I was so goddamn tempted, but Red kept stopping me. He was like, Sniper, no, where are you going? Nowhere. <laughs> Go get your water. Go get your water, guys. We'll be back in just a minute, so um, so that these guys can run, take a take a pee break or what have you, get something to drink. But I'll sit here for you. I'll be at your beck and whim. Yeah, Sniper, I'll make a run too. Sniper, when he got mad, there, uh, he was like, he was like, oh man, I'm thinking about leaving, thinking about leaving Will, and he's like, all right, cool. He's like, so where are we?